Hey guys, I'm back with uh, a video that will show you how to make a great shooting game. Yeah. So with uh, Game Maker 8.0 Pro, you don't need the <clears throat> you do not need the Pro version to do this, but you will need some sprites. Uh, I'm not gonna go through it because it wastes a lot of time and I have a lot to talk about okay uh, you need to have uh, one enemy or four enemies or three or two it doesn't matter uh, I have four enemies just to make it interesting and I have a wall uh, weapon one for the enemy I mean uh, weapon one for the for me uh, this is me my main character and weapon two and I have another sprite that's nothing that's just blank it's nothing okay uh you need to have all of these uh except for the enemies you don't you, you uh you don't need all the enemies um you could just have one but you do need nothing uh diamond is to get score you you need uh two bu uh you need separate weapons for um main character and enemy and you also need a main character and a wall so after you build your sprites and you have your objects your each object should um, match your sprite so enemy goes with enemy you it goes with you okay. anyways uh, starting with the main character after you create all those objects you need to add a step event um, you need to um, uh transform the sprite you need to add a step event transform the sprite x scales one y scales one directions direction and mirrors no mirror uh you also and then you go on go you add you add one two three four five six six you need to add six collision events so you add six collision events each with a First one goes with the enemy. Second one goes with, second one goes with wall. Third one goes with weapon two, and uh, fourth one goes with enemy two, enemy three, and enemy four. You add six collision events. And first collision event for the enemy, when you collide with the enemy, actions are you the game restarts. When you collide with wall, direction is stop. It does not go through. Yeah, you don't move anywhere. It's pretty basic. <clears throat> and when you collide with the enemy's weapon, uh, you will set your lives set your lives to negative one. Put as relative. Uh, for enemy two collision event, restart the game. Enemy three start the game. Enemy four enemy four start the game. Uh, also add a add a um key press event. Key press. You need to add letters, and you can pick any letter or, or any number. And you will need to put go to the next room, which set portals to the next room. Uh, you need to step towards. You need to step towards your mouse. So you need to put mouse underscore x, mouse underscore y. Change your speed. Anything solid only. No relative not pressed. Global right. You need to change it to um, global right pressed. You change moving instance to object. Change it to weapon one. X is sixteen. Oh, um. And by the way, before you create your objects and everything, make sure you set every one of your sprites to center, except nothing. Set every one of them to center. All right. You need to center them. How do you center them? You just press center right here. Okay. Okay. Any anyways. Uh, going back to here. Direction, direction, sixteen, sixteen. Object, weapon, one. All right. So that's uh, you're making the button follow you. You can also write uh, codes for these, but I think dragging. I think dragging them is simpler, if you would say. Uh, you add another event. Uh, game start. Set your lives to three. Set the score to zero. Set the score caption. Show score. Score caption. Show lives. Caption health, so you need to set score. 
and when you run out of lives, you need to put restart game. Okay, and okay, so that's for me, and that's this is a major part. So I've already gone through this. Uh, I will make another video after this called uh, "Making the Game sh uh, Part 2. So make sure to watch it to uh, know how to make the full game. This is only part one, so. Yeah, go watch part two.